Uh, Hariti Hipano. Um, Mr. Speaker, with the leave of yourself, I invite that the members' address on this piece of legislation be deferred to the next sitting of the House, because understandably there's a much more compelling matter that is to be addressed before well, the House. I, I would like the member to keep going until four o'clock, which was the agreed time. Thank you. Accordingly, Mr Speaker, with your leave, it is a healthy matter that I rise as the last National Party Speaker to address and take a brief call with the House on the first reading of the bill. It's also quite appropriate in this instance to address the House in the vein and vernacular of a smear and disclose campaign. As I speak to the bill, whilst also reflecting on what led to the National Cervical Screening Programme, an unfortunate experiment, the Cartwright Inquiry of 1987 to 88, the watershed moment in patients' rights, not only in New Zealand but globally, leading and paving the way towards a patient-centred healthcare system and establishing a system of accountability to patients. The implementation of a successful national cervical screening programme in New Zealand has led to a dramatic reduction in deaths from cervical cancer. However, currently the process to access information from the national cervical screening programme order, register... Order, please. A lot of noise. ..from the national cervical screening programme register for those dedicated health professionals who provides services or, to our order. news... I will now interrupt the member. Um, in accordance with the determination of the Business Committee, I call on the Right Honourable Bill English uh, to make his valedictory statement, but note uh, that the matter which we're just discussing is set down for further consideration next sitting day. The Right Honourable Bill English. Mr Speaker.